So, welcome back everybody. It's been a while since the last video and we've had another delivery from Sterling Kit. Now, this wouldn't be my usual choice, but for the price of it and how good it looks, we couldn't not give it a try. Now, I will be leaving links in the description for this from Sterling Kit website. If you go to the website via that link and also use the discount code, you'll get the best possible price. It's a steam engine, the Retro Beam engine. Now, as far as steam engines go, against most popular opinion, I've always believed that Mamod is actually a far better build quality than Walesco. Most people will disagree with me. However, if you put an older Mamod alongside a Walesco of any era, uh, the Walescos just feel like tatty tin toys to me. Yes, they're more realistic. Yes, they probably run better and run more realistic. But actual build quality, which is what people try and say, when they're making a choice between the two, I think it's got to be Mamod all the way. Now this, the base, has a very tinny look. We'll get that out in a minute. But first impressions of the engine itself. And that's pretty damn well made. I know Mamod did try and produce a beam engine. Not actually had one myself, so I can't comment. But that does feel really good. The flywheel. Cylinder. And, of course, the governor, which, from what I've seen, is actually fully functional. And as you can see, with that spinning, the valve does push down and then as it goes back up like so um, that does feel really good great We've got the boiler in the box here that again really heavy uh, fantastically well made that's that feels like glass to be honest the sight glass in the end and as you can see, there's a tie rod from end to end, threaded in the centre there. Nice steam valve. Really nice heavy whistle. Safety valve. Uh, what else have we got in this box? Main bearing blocks, another connecting rod, a couple of pulleys in there, and we'll get the base set. Now, that is actually really solid and well made. Didn't look that good in the photos, but yeah, that is really nice. And then we've obviously also got the uh, firebox, the burner, which also has to be made, you see here, that's actually very surprising, that feels far better than I imagined, so we'll have a little look at the instructions, which I can't imagine will be awfully easy to understand, but we shall see. <sighs> to be honest, they look like fairly well drawn out pictures uh, and relatively straightforward to understand. I'm guessing that there will be a key somewhere here with each part numbered so there's no mistakes to be made. So yeah, first impressions that looks really nice and really well made and something that's going to last 
certainly a surprise because although the petrol engines and the hot air engines I've had in the past from China have been lovely, the steam engines not so much. But this does look like a drastic improvement. And Retrol are also the manufacturer of the HMO1, the one we did in the last video, and that also was a drastic improvement in quality. So they really are up in the game by the looks of things. So you've seen what comes included in the box. So now we shall get the screws laid out, get the instructions sorted, and have a go at putting it together. Afterwards, you've got this spare parts bag, which comes with a spare drive belt, a couple of spare o large O-rings, I'm going to assume that is for the boiler window, and a few seals and washers, which are going to be for the whistle, safety valve, etc. So, yeah. Um, what can we say? That's really good quality it has surprised me oh there is one other thing also in the kit is this little steel tray it's not mentioned anywhere in the instructions but seeing as the exhaust goes out the base just there i'm going to say that's a rather thoughtful drip tray which is rather nice in my eyes so what does it compare to Mamod tried to produce a beam engine, and I'm not sure, but my slight knowledge of Mamod tells me that they stopped production not long after starting, so there aren't many of those around. They were prohibitively expensive. I have got a Mamod SE3 here, twin, and I'll be honest, between the two, the Retrol is actually quite a lot heavier. So that tells you how much more metal is in it. And just look at the size compared to the Mamod SE3. Yes, it is a little bit smaller, but I wouldn't say it's small. The SE3 being one of the bigger engines, if not the biggest. So now it's built, we shall go and find a little funnel, get it filled up with water get the burner filled up with mess and we'll have a little play and see how it performs as we're going to be playing with fire we've brought it outside the water level in the boiler this table is on a little bit of a slope but is about three quarters full that leaves just enough room for steam you are going to need to get yourself some mess if you're not already a steam fan 
I believe this came from Home Bargains and was about two quid. It's really not a lot. I must say I'm a massive fan of methylated spirits sooner than the solid fuel tablets, what we have in the Mammoth and Malesicos of today. Um, it's cleaner. I'm pretty sure it gives a warmer flame, although obviously there is the danger of spilling it, and I'm guessing that why is why it was ruled out in this country. So we've got the little steel drip tray. We'll place that under the exhaust. I have already pre-filled the burner, so you haven't got to sit and watch me make a mess. Um, so with a bit of luck, that will light. And we will be on our way. Like so. So now it's just a case of waiting for steam to get up. So just while we're waiting for steam to build, I'd like to take this moment to say thank you to Sterling Kit for sending me this kit to review. Uh, if you found this video useful so far, please do give it a like and of course subscribe to the channel for more future videos like this. All the links will be in the description below for you to be able to buy the engine with my discount code which is Rusty Relics. I will also leave a link in the description for the oiler pen which we're just going to give a quick run around the engine while we're waiting for it to warm up like so all the little moving parts can have a little dab the beauty of these little pens is how precise they are you don't end up with oil everywhere there on the crank pin main bearings and eccentric and of course the governor which I have to say is probably my most favourite part of this engine. So a few more minutes, get a bit of heat into it and we should be ready for the off. Whilst waiting to build steam up I have just noticed that the handle for the whistle was in the vertical position, that's how it came and that is actually open so you do need to fold that down. Uh, don't know whether you can see that there, but there are some bubbles forming in the boiler, thanks to the nice big glass window in the end. So we must be getting very close. Another quick mention is the neat little feature of the drain cock fitted to the cylinder. Don't think I've ever seen that fitted to uh, a toy type model. This obviously isn't a an ex scale model as such. So you'll have to excuse the aeroplane in the background. So I think we are near about there. So we're going to open the drain cock. Open the steam valve. And give it a little help in hand. Not quite there yet, but we're heading in the right direction. We're now making some of the right noises, so we will open the steam valve. And away we go. Still quite a bit of condensate coming out of the exhaust. That's probably my fault, it's like too much water in, but we can see. But yes. So we 
which is a rather nice little thing. The governor keeping it at a sensible speed and doing as it should. Yeah, great. That's equal to mammoth quality. Dare I say even it might be better. We will see what it's like to live with over the next few months. Uh, I'm guessing it's possibly the wind outside that's making it struggle to keep ahead of steam. But that appears to have run out now. Well, there we have it. The Retrol Steam Beam Engine. Get it from Sterling Kit with the link below. Fantastic. If they keep producing things like this, we might have to have a few more steam engines. That is lovely. So once again, if you haven't already, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave us some comments, leave us a comment with your thoughts. What do you, how do you think it compares to a Mamod or a Walesco or any of the others? Another big thank you to Sterling Kit. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.